What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. Thank you all for stopping by and I hope that everyone is having a great evening, afternoon or morning wherever you may be in the world. So today we have something new. We have our Ice J deck and boy this deck is a whole lot of fun bro. Personally I like to call it the ice cream parlor because everyone is going to want to scoop <laughs> and the reason for this is because we're able to set up a one-sided skill drain on our board and we can achieve this by having three distinct cards on our field so first let's go over them we have our field spell this is one of the cards that you need alongside with the ice j curse and alongside with the cosmoclore now when you have these three cards on the field this will prevent your opponent from activating any monster effects now I don't want to make this intro too long so let's just check out the deck in action and at the end of the video I'll go over the rest of the cards. Now if you enjoyed today's video then please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel. I will greatly appreciate it as it will go towards the growth of the channel. But enough with that, thank you, let's check out the spicy replays. Alright, what's up everybody, welcome back. And this replay is spicy, my guy. I really, really wanted to show this specific replay because it's going to highlight what we really want to try to do with this deck. So first of all, look at our hand, bro. We have that extra Sasson Goya spiciness, bro. Because we have our luck. We have Cosmoclore, we have the Field Spell, and we have the Curse. With these three monsters, with these three cards on the field, our opponent cannot activate any monster effects. And then we also have Igrin, which is going to be our searcher. So we normal summon Igrin, search for the manifestation, set the field spell, set the curse. And because the field spell is active, now we can special summon the Cosmoclore. And then with the manifestation, we can special summon any monster. And we special summon the Kingfisher. And the reason why I special summon this one right here is because now I can attach this monster to the Cosmoclore. And now the Cosmoclore can attack while in defense position. So now I have a 3000 body monster on the field. Alright, so we're going to attack, attack, and then the curse is going to activate. And then the curse is going to have a second effect. When a monster is destroyed by battle involving your Ice J monster, you can target one of those destroyed monsters, inflict damage to an opponent equal to that monster's original attack. So now on top of having monster negate, we also have burn damage. So we have pretty much a one-sided skill drain active right now. So he's going to activate Branded Laws, then he's going to activate Branded Fusion. Then he's going to go into his Lubellion. And right now our opponent is probably questioning himself like, Yo, why my Lubellion is not activating, bro? What's going on? I don't understand. What's going on here? Alright, and then with the loss and the Tragedy, he's going to add the Owlbear and the Fallen of Owlbass. Then he's going to Normal Summon the Owlbear. I'm going to activate the field spell, but honestly, I should have waited because the field spell second effect is that you can target a water monster you control. Then that water monster is going to lose its attack, but then the attack that it loses, it gets applied to our opponent's monster. So I targeted the Cosmoclore. It's going to lose 1500 attack, but so is going to be our opponent's uh, monsters as well. But I should have waited because I could have now applied that effect to the Mirror Jade. So the Mirror Jade could have lost 1500 attack too. But it's all good. He's going to kill my Igrin. And then look, you may wonder why the Mirror Jade is at 2000 attack. Well, that's the Cosmoclore. So the Cosmoclore has another effect that... If your Ice J monster battles an opponent's monster, that monster loses a thousand attack. So that's how we were able to reduce the Mirror J to two thousand. Alright, and then the curse is gonna activate again, and my opponent's gonna burn for a thousand damage. Alright, and then he cannot activate Mirror J, he cannot activate activate Alubur, he cannot activate anything. So we draw our Deep Sea Diva. Deep Sea Diva is gonna activate. I'm going to search for our guitar. Well, rather, I'm going to special summon the guitar. And then the guitar has a uh, effect that when this card is special summoned, you can banish cards from the top of your opponent's deck up to the water monsters that you control. So right now we have three water monsters. So that means we're going to banish three cards from the top of his deck. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, and then we're going to activate the guitar's second effect, which is going to raise the level of any water monster. So we're going to raise the guitar's level by 3, 
so that now we have a level six and a level two and then with the level six and the level two we can go into our draco and our opponent he's gonna you know go into quarters and all of this stuff but it doesn't matter like he cannot activate anything so we're, we're not worried right here we're not concerned all right then he's gonna search for the mercurial he's gonna try to thinking that he can negate but he, it's too late for him he cannot do anything <laughs> All right, we're going to go into Draco so that we can attack the uh, Quarides. So now, since the Quarides is, is destroyed, the Draco gains an attack boost. So now we can hit the Mirror Jade. Mirror Jade is going to activate, but it's whatever, because now with the Cosmoclore, we can attack while in defense position, bro. Now we have like a super heavy samurai deck. Crazy, bro. But anyways, I just wanted to showcase this specific replay because it shows what the deck wants to do, essentially. So that's what you really want to do. You want to have those cards active on the field as much as you can. But let's move on to some more spiciness. My people, welcome back. We have another spicy replay. And this time we are going to go up against Tillament. All right, so he's going to activate Terraforming to get his field spell. All right, then he's going to get the Merly gonna activate the Sharon so that you can special summon itself and mill some cards okay then the Havnez is gonna activate so you can fusion summon into the Kit Kalos all good all good okay Kit Kalos is gonna activate but we're gonna hit him with the infinite impermanence put a stop to that real quick bro but he still got plays he's gonna activate foolish burial to send the Rhino Heart and the Rhino Heart is gonna be able to special summon itself onto the field then the freaking Merly is going to activate from the, in the graveyard. So he's going to be able to now fusion summon into the Rule Kalos. Telemus, bro. They just got placed for days, bro. You, you think you got them, but they still have something else going on. And then with the Sharon, <laughs> he's going to make another kick Kalos. Crazy, but it's all good, bro. Because we got the underdog right here. All right. So we have the Ice J Cradle. We're going to draw into another Ice J Cradle. And what's great about this card is that it is not once per turn. So you can activate two Ice J Cradles on the same turn. So I activate one just to see if I can bait anything out. So he doesn't activate anything. So now I activate the Harpy's Feather Duster. Wipe out the back row. Okay, then he's going to activate the Crime. Crime is going to bring back the Rhino Heart from the Banished Zone. Then I'm going to activate Igrain. Igrain is going to search our field spell. And now our opponent is fucked. Because now we have the field spell, we have the curse, and we have Cosmoclore. So now our lock is active. <laughs> we're going to activate the Cradle. We're going to search for the Kingfish, uh, for the Creation. The Creation is going to attach itself to the Igrain so that it can get a damage boost. If any cards get banished. Then the curse is going to activate to burn our opponent for 3,000 attack since the Rukalo's original attack was 3,000. But our opponent right now is kind of fucked. We have the curse active, so he cannot do anything. All right, he's going to kill my Igrin. Curse is going to activate. He's going to burn for another 1,000. And then my man is going to go for a Baguska here because he realized he cannot activate any monster effects. So he's going to try to stall for a little bit, but it's all right. Then the creation is going to activate in the graveyard, attaching itself to the Cosmoclore. So now I can get a 400 attack damage boost for any card that gets banished. And then here I go into attack position just to see if the Baguska is still going to overshadow our uh, lock, and it does. So Baguska is unaffected by the lock, so that's good to know. Alright, then we're going to activate the Manifestation, search for the Kingfisher. And then the Kingfisher is going to be able to attach itself to the Cosmoclore. And when it's attached to the Cosmoclore, the Cosmoclore can attack can attack while in defense position. Alright, he's going to activate the Grieve. And I know he's grieving right now because he's fucked. He, he's just, whatever, go ahead, do what you got to do, bro. We're going to hit him with the Ash Blossom, we're just going to negate that. I know Spring is almost over, but Ash Blossom is still here, bro. And then that's it. Thank you for coming to the ice cream parlor. Enjoy your scoop. All right, my people, welcome back. And we have another replay. This time we're going to go up against uh, Tillaments, and we're going to go second. 
All right, so our opponent, he's going to activate Scream. He's already screaming because <laughs> he already knows what's about to happen to him, bro. All right, he's going to activate his Miller. He's going to do all of that. He's going to get the exchange of the spirit. He's going to activate Rhino Heart. He's going to activate the Sullyuk. But it's all right, bro. We have the underdog right here. So actually, I'm going to fast forward this a little bit to save some time. All right, with the Rhino Heart and the Heartbeat and the Sullyuk, they're all going to activate. And then he's going to mill the Halfness, and the Halfness is going to activate so that it can go into the Kick Hallows. And the Kick Hallows is going to activate, sending the Sharon. The Sharon is going to activate so that he can go into the Rule Hallows. All right, and then last but not least, the Murley is going to activate, and then he's going to make another Kick Hallows. And then that's all he wrote. All right, back to us. So we first, we're going to hit him with that evenly matched, get all of that bullshit out of here. And then we're going to activate the curse. Then we're going to activate the Tremora. And then the Tremora, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon one water monster from your hand. Then he's going to hit us with the Maxi. It's all good. All right, so we get our Cosmoclore on the field. Then we're going to activate Manifestation to Special Summon Igrin. Igrin is going to search for our Field Spell. And you already know, our opponent now is locked from using any monster effects. Then with the Manifestation, I'm sorry, with the Creation, we can attach to the Igrin. He's going to activate the Sharon to mill some cards. He's going to mill his Agito and he's going to mill his Shadow. So the Agito is going to mill some cards. It's all good, whatever, do what you gotta do. Then the Meta Noise is gonna activate, the Sharon is gonna activate, the Havnus is gonna activate, everything is gonna activate, bro. But it's all good. It's all good, do what you gotta do. Bring it, bring it, bring it. We ain't scared. He's gonna go into the Kaleido Heart. Then using the Rukalos and the Sharon, he's gonna make a. Dragos Tapelia, my man is just desperate, bro. He's just <laughs> He's just wondering like what the hell is going on? He's gonna start screaming, but I got a big old cyclone to shut him up with it. Enough with that screaming. Then he's gonna go into the battle phase. The Igrin is gonna activate. So the Igrin has another effect. So the other effect is that when this card when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets this card for an attack. You can activate this effect the next time it will be destroyed by battle. It is not. And then you can special summon a water monster. And then remember, because of the Cosmoclore, any monster that attacks my IJ monsters, they lose a thousand attack. Then the curse is going to activate. He's going to burn for 3,000. Then the, the Tremora is going to banish itself so I can special summon an Igrin. Then the Igrin is going to search for a Erosion. And then the Erosion is sort of like an Omni Negate. And thank you for coming to the ice cream parlor. I hope you enjoy your scoop. Moving on. All right, my people. What's up? Welcome back. And in this replay, we're going to go up against uh, Runic. Okay, so first we normal summon our Deep Sea Diva so we can special summon the guitar. And the guitar is going to activate to banish two cards off the top of our opponent's deck since we control two water monsters. And we're going up against Runic. So using these two monsters, we're going to go into our Deep Sea Prima Donna. And then the Prima Donna is kind of like a double-edged sword because now we have to target one of our opponents, our banished card, and send it back to the hand. So I end up sending the Runic Dispelling back to the hand. But with that, I get to special summon my Igrin. So now the Igrin is going to activate so I can search for a card in my deck and I search for the Ice Jade Curse. Then using these two monsters, we're going to make our boss monster, the Ice J Geimer Agrin. And then this deck right here, this card right here is like amazing against Runic. Uh, because right here, the quick effect is you can activate this face up monster you control. And then it cannot be destroyed or banished. All right. So he's going to activate a whole bunch of Runic cards. So he's going to try to kill our monster. So we activate it. So we banish his field, his field spell, and then we are protected. We cannot be banished, even though we are negated, but we're still protected from being banished. 
All right, he's just gonna mill, 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 mill. And this man is just crazy, bro. He done mill like I'm I'm up to 20 cards right now in my deck. <laughs> All right, he's gonna add special summon the hugging, but we're under the lock since we got the field spell. We got the Ice J curse and we got an Ice J monster. He's gonna try to draw cards with the field spell. We're gonna hit it with the Ash Blossom. All right, and we're down to 19 cards, but it's back to us. Then we're gonna draw into our Cosmoclore. We're gonna activate the manifestation, and that's gonna be another customer to the ice cream shop. He's just gonna scoop. Thank you. See you next time. <laughs> Welcome back everybody and here we have another spicy replay and we are going second and we're gonna go up against uh, Blackwing so our opponent he's gonna pop off so I don't have any negates so I'm just going to fast forward this a little bit so that we can save some time but he's gonna pop off he's gonna be able to set up a nice board all right he's gonna go get a token he's gonna synchro summon He's going to activate the spell card, bring back a monster, special summon another monster, get another synchro monster. Yeah, he's just going to pop off, bro. These chickens, they, they popping off right here. Alright, now he's got one of his boss monsters. And then this, this guy right here is going to be unaffected. And he's going to have this right here that's going to burn me for 700 every time I activate a card, whatever. He's gonna have another one. So now he's gonna burn me for 1400. Alright, but lucky for us, we draw into infinite impermanence. So we're gonna target one of these monsters. He's gonna hit me with the cross out, but he doesn't have infinite impermanence, so he's gonna declare Harpy's Feather Duster. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna activate the curse. He's gonna activate Maxi. So now we're under the Maxi challenge. We have to take it because our hand is not the best. So we activate the field spell, activate Deep Sea Diva, we're going to search for the guitar, or rather special summon the guitar. Since we control two water monsters, we're going to be able to now banish two monsters, or rather two cards off the top of his deck. Then I'm going to activate the guitar, raise the Diva to level 4. With these two monsters, I'm going to make our Prima Donna. Then the Prima Donna is going to be able to put one of his banished cards into the hand so that we can special summon a monster so we special summon our agrin and the agrin is going to be able to activate and we're going to be able to get a search so we search for a manifestation okay then manifestation well first we're going to make our level 10 uh monster we're going to our boss monster then with the manifestation, we're going to get our Cosmoclore. So now our opponent is locked. We have the lock active. Then with the creation, we're going to attach itself to the eye green. Then I didn't read. This is my part, my fault right here. This card is going to prevent him from being destroyed. So we have to pass turn. But it's all good because we have our lock active right now. So our opponent cannot activate anything. And then we have our creation attached to our level 10 boss monster, which is going to constantly give him a 400 attack boost for each card that gets banished. Alright, and then our opponent maybe didn't read our card, so remember the Cosmoclaw is going to reduce our opponent's monsters by a thousand attack. <laughs> So he thought he could get rid of my Cosmoclaw. So it's back to us. We draw Harpy's Feather Duster. So we're going to get rid of that. So now our opponent has no protection. So he's fucked right now. We're going to activate our Field Spell. So that we can bring back our Eye Green. The Eye Green is going to activate. We're going to search for our monster. But before we do that, we're going to activate the Field Spell. And then the Field Spell is going to reduce all of his monsters by 1500. Okay, we activate Manifestation, so we special summon the Kingfisher. So we get rid of his unaffected boss monster first, then he's going to burn for 3,000. And then with the Kingfisher, we're going to smack him for 2,500. Crazy, bro. This deck, when it goes in, it goes in, bro. Like, this deck is amazing. I love it. 
You know, it may not be top tier, but I love it. It's, it's fun, and it could set up some nice negates. It's, it's crazy, bro. I love it. <laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome to the deck list portion, and let's jump right into it. So we run three Deep Sea Diva. We have three Maxis. Two Ash Blossoms. Two Guitar Ganaz Duanigas. We have three Ice Jade Eye Green. We have two Ice Jade Tremora. We have two Ice J Creation Agiro Cases. We have one Gamma Seal, the Sea Turtle Kaiju. We have one Ice J Creation Kingfisher. We have two Ice J Cosmoclore. I hope I'm pronouncing these cards correctly too. I don't know. <laughs> we have one Harpy's Feather Duster. We have one Synchro Overtake. We have two Ice J Cradles. We have three Ice J Manifestation. This card is amazing. We have three of the Field Spells. We have two Ice J Curse, one Cosmic Cyclone, one Call by the Grave, two Evenly Matched, two Infinite Impermanence, and one Ice J Erosion. And then for the extra deck, we run the Egyptian God Slime. So you can make this by making the Cosmoclores attack zero via the Field Spell effect, and then you can special summon this card. Then we have the Deep Sea Repertory. We only have this card as our target for the Synchro Overtake, which then can add the Deep Sea Diva to our hand so that we can normal summon it and then start our Synchro plays. Then we have one Draco, one Baron de Fleur, one Sorcerer Supreme Sovereign Cheng Ying. We have two of our Boss Monster, the Ice J Gamir Agarin. We have one Psychic and Punisher, one Marissa's Coral Anemone. One Underworld Goddess, one World Sea Dragon Zelantis, one Black Luster Soldier, a Uni Nightmare Unicorn, and an IP Mascarena. Now, from the extra deck, the Prima Donna, the Draco, the Chain Ying, and this one, these are the cards that I use the most, and also the Coral Anemone. Uh, these are the cards that I use the most. But that's the deck. Thank you all so much. If you enjoy, please consider subscribing to the channel and drop a like leave any comments or concern that you may have and i'll get to it as soon as i can thank you all so much take care i am out